Welcome back to our channel, YouTube. My name is Kristen Forgione. I'm the founder, creative director, and principal designer here at The Lifestyle Co. And I have a new house tour for you. We are here at The Refined Ranch. I want to thank Caraway for supporting this channel. If you guys follow me on social media, or even if you've seen our other house tours, you know what a huge fan of Caraway I am. My favorite product, which they have so many now, they have bakeware, they have food storage, which I'm going to show you, pots and pans, servingware. I just saw they released like this kitchen gadgets thing that I definitely need. I love Caraway for so many reasons, most being they are completely non-toxic, ceramic coated, no transfer from any of those yucky chemicals from either your food storage, from your pots and pans, into your food. It's super important to my family to combat that in any way that I can, and Caraway really assists with that. So Caraway is giving me a 10% off code for you that gets you also a gift code for a future purchase if you spend $95. So the code is Kristen10, and I wanna tell you um, before you hop on their site and start ordering for yourself why I love the food storage so much. All of the team in my office can tell you that this is what my lunch comes in every day. Well, normally it's more like this one or sometimes the small if I just have something tiny, but you can put your food right in here. You're finished prepping, you're finished eating, you put your leftovers in here, you bring it to work. Obviously top goes on. You can use these for all of the accoutrements and then it can go right in the microwave, right in the toaster oven, right in the oven at work. It's so convenient, I can't even tell you. So um, I love it. I have been really super impressed with the wear and tear. So I have had a set for over a year. I think it's been about 18 months and they don't have a scratch on them. They clean up really nice dishwasher safe also so they can go right in the dishwasher. This little guy, the Caraway cleaning eraser, I also think is highly underrated. I don't see very many people talking about it and it's like, one of those magic erasers, but obviously doesn't have all those chemicals in it. So I use this to just clean them up if I need to both inside and outside. Um, but again, Caraway, thank you so much for sponsoring this channel. It means a lot to me and I love these products. I use them every day in, in my own house and at work. And this set is actually going to our clients. So um, I'm excited for them to get to try Caraway as well. But let's get to the tour. So this house is almost 6,000 square feet. It is six bedrooms, five and a half baths. It has a basement, which you're not gonna get to see today because our clients are still furnishing their kids' spaces down there. So we have done the entire first floor and so I'm gonna get to show you all of the goodness on the first floor, including this beautiful kitchen. This project is in Tempe, Arizona in a beautiful horse, centric, equestrian centric neighborhood that is super well known here. And not only is this property over an acre and could have horses, there is an arena in this complex, in this subdivision, so that if you had horses right at your own house, you could take them there and train, which I think is so, so cool. And the project is called the Refined Ranch because you will notice it's high contrast, it's luxe, it's way more modern, I think, than you probably are used to seeing from us. Lot, did I already say high contrast? Lots of high contrast. And our clients who are amazing, their names are Kelly and Kyle Wyloge. And again, I don't always get to talk to you about clients, but um, the name of this project comes largely from them. Kelly is an artisan. She makes these incredibly beautiful handmade hats, cowboy hats, and her business name is called The Refined Brim. So we will link the heck out of her site and her social channels in our description so that you can check out her beautiful work. And something so unique about this property and one of the reasons we called it The Refined Ranch, other than the fact that it's in a community with ranches and other horse properties, is because of her business, The Refined Brim, and it has a hat room. This project has a hat room. Think of a craft room, but so chic. So, so, so chic. So I'm excited to show you all the details starting here in the kitchen. If you're new here, at the end of the video, we always put what's called a stat card. And the stat card will tell you the square footage of the house, um, a lot of frequently asked questions, like how big is the island? What's the wood flooring spec? What's the paint color? I will also try to rattle off as many sources as I can possibly remember. Sometimes I tell you the wrong thing and we have to fact check me in the end and make sure that the right thing is listed in the description. So we always do that as well. Our team is amazing at making sure that we are giving you the most accurate information. So um, let's dive into the kitchen. When we were designing this project, we started with the overall scheme and our clients were really specific about wanting black cabinet perimeter and then a white oak island. 
So with the White Oak Island, we paired this beautiful tambour hood. I love, and you will notice, you typically see doming, like half inch domes from us. In this case, we went with this 90 degree angle square tambour, which assists in keeping the space feeling very modern. So you're gonna see a lot more clean lines, a lot more 90 degree angles. Um, two beautiful sinks in this project, a 48 inch wolf range, two side-by-side Sub-Zero refrigerator freezers. Um, if you look down, you will notice the island is trimmed out with tile. And I love tile and a brass kind of inlay there. I love the detail. It just looks so sophisticated, again, so modern, helps kind of give the eye something else to look at other than just wood on wood. The wood spec in here, this flooring I'm super impressed with. We've used it for years. It is from Reward Flooring. It's called, uh, it's part of their Costa collection and the color is called Luna. So I'm, I'm really loving how it's all coming together. Countertops. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you know we really like to use the same countertops because we trust them, they're tried and true. In this case, we are sticking with Vidara Quartz, but we went with the new colorway. So this is called Aurora, White Aurora Quartz, and I, I love it. I actually feel like it kind of combines a Sereno Gold, which is also from Vidara, and almost like a Arabiscato marble look, but again in quartz. So we kept it raw at just 2 cm, so it's really just the slab um, thickness without any fancy detail on the edge profile, again, to keep it modern. Paired that with a Zalige. This is from Tiles of Ezra in Snow is the color. We went with a straight lay on that to keep it nice and clean, nice and minimal. I'm so impressed with how it all turned out. I feel like it's very balanced. I don't know if you're also catching on, but this space is huge, <laughs> you guys. This room is huge. And just on the other side of the kitchen is the dining, all day dining space and the great room. This space is such a moment. And you know, I couldn't get like more than, I don't know, three minutes in without saying moment. And you know what else it is? It's a vibe. And these clients, they wanted a vibe. They wanted this high contrast, swanky, like restoration hardware, modern kind of feel. And I feel like we've given it to them. Meets Organic Desert Living, of course. So um, I'm most impressed, obviously, with this, right? It's so beautiful. And if you're wondering what this is, this is porcelain. So porcelain is super thin material. It's very lightweight. You can easily fabricate it on a fireplace and you can use it all the way up the wall. It is not going to be cost effective. So if you think it is, it's not, but it looks like this. <laughs> and like I said, it's a lot more pliable and a lot easier to fabricate and install than natural stone because of its weight. So this is called Magnifica. It is from Bedrosians and the color is Nero Marquina. We went with the honed, which I think is just stunning. Obviously the fireplace is adding so much to the ambiance and the vibe. And it is just such a statement. The, the scale in here, the grandeur of the room is felt so easily by just letting the eye take this fireplace in. The lighting fixture in here is a beautiful chandelier. I can't even count how many lights are actually on it, but it beautifully lights the space and just makes it feel nice and warm, nice and cozy. I think something that we hear a lot of clients when they're conveying their design style with us and they're, they're worried if they're modern about it feeling stark or cold and they want warmth and how do we do that, especially keeping it minimal and keeping it modern. And I think this project, the Refined Ranch, is such a good example of a family home that is very modern, nice and edgy, but feels warm and lived in. Before we hit the bar, I have to show you the pantry. This room is like, I'm gonna so, say 10 by 12. It's literally the size of a bedroom. We have a full depth fridge, microwave drawer, so much storage, so much open shelving. Um, coffee machine will go here, plenty of coffee mugs. Obviously basket storage, so many drawers. Like, look at this. Okay, you guys, this is our client. This is not even me. She hasn't even moved in here yet and she's already got all of her stuff all arranged. I love it. My little, my little very organized heart loves to see it. But um, I think that this space feels nice and clean. And honestly, if you're not gonna do it up in a pantry to where you're gonna give it its own identity, let's go with clean. Let's continue the, the kitchen profile in here so that it just is nice and seamless. I don't always allow the team to shove me in a powder room with you, but this one's so good. Okay, first, it's dark as night. We did black Roman clay on the walls. Second, look at the flooring. It is custom tile from Tabarka. Uh, four by six, I wanna say, stunning, such a statement. And we're playing again with the juxtaposition of modern. So we have this chunky countertop. Um, what is this? This is, hold on, it's coming to me. Um, no, I can't remember. I'll look it up. 
and we'll put it in the description and it's also in the laundry room. So I'll make sure I nail it in there, but more fluted on the vanity. I don't know why I'm so excited about this, you guys, but <laughs> in this black room, black, black, look at it. And you wanna know what? I could take no credit for this. Our client is so amazing. This is her black toilet paper. And the toilet, so I'm washing my hands, right? Over here, beautiful mirror moment. The toilet's on the other side of this. So oh, thank you from the architect so much for delivering me a powder room that you cannot see the toilet. We went with a black toilet over there to go with the black toilet paper, which I will also be ordering for my house. I don't know if it stains your bum, but they'll let us know. I realized I haven't told you a very important part of this project. It's a renovation. I haven't told you that. I am going to do my best to get some before photos that Nick can put in B-roll in the edit so that you can see what this place looks like before. I actually think right here, was it here? Mm, somewhere. There was like a rotunda thing. It may have been in the front. Wild. This hallway did not exist. So, so you know, this bar is right between the formal living room, the kitchen, great room, and the laundry room. And I love the location of this. And when we were kind of formulating this with our clients, they were maybe a little bit unsure, but I think it works so well. One, we've got a ton of transition area and space. So if we're gonna make a self-serve bar, we wanna make sure that people can actually serve themselves, right? So there's a couple components that you need. One, we need enough appliances, if you will, and enough support that we can make a drink, we can pour, pull something cold out, whether it's wine or a beverage center. We can have access to ice if possible. You can also make it wet and making sure that there's a sink there. In this case, we didn't really need that, but we do have a Sub-Zero wine undercounter refrigerator. We have an ice machine here. It's not quite making ice yet, but that has that obsidian interior, which I like, which is just uh, black, dark interior, plenty of storage, right? And then we kind of get to the self-serve area. So this is styled beautifully for photography and I think it'll probably stay this way for the most part. But a couple things that I love about this, obviously durable countertop. This is again, that white Aurora from Vidara. We have an antiqued mirror backsplash, not cost effective at all, but oh my gosh, is it stunning. And it is giving all the things. We love some ambient lighting. So there's under cabinet or under shelf lighting in this project, um, bar area, and then the brass gallery rail. Of course, some sconces as well. I feel like it's playing with the ceiling height. We have so much storage, right? All things that are going to set this bar up for absolute success in addition to, of course, the location. Now, let's say we don't have a party, right? And we just live here. What is in this door? Really, really close, direct access right to the laundry room. You guys, this laundry room is so packed. One full of design and two full of some really intelligent, like new things I'm gonna tell you about in a second. But before we get to the super cool blow my socks off new washer and dryer, the Ardo Brick. I know some of you might be here for this. So this is their star and cross pattern. We have used it many times. The flooring in this project is just like creme de la creme. It turned out so beautiful. Um, this is terracotta. Mm, or cement, terracotta. This is terracotta from Ardo. It's got a black grout. It's just so bold and it never gets old. It's timeless. We paired that with white oak cabinetry and then this is from Clay. I wanna say this is one of their glazed bricks, also in black. We did the straight lay, different direction than the straight lay that we did in the kitchen, but it's just giving, it's giving clean, it's giving simple, it's giving modern, very high contrast, which, which our clients really love. Sink in here, of course. Okay. I couldn't wait to talk about this because we just learned all about this. So you might also be thinking, I feel like you were, you were thinking like, why did they put a top on that front loader? Where is she gonna fold? Okay, no. The reason we didn't put a top on this is because these are the new Samsung washer dryers called Flex Wash and Flex Dry. Look at this. So it's a top loader and a front loader. This is the dryer, so you can stack the clothes up when you take them out of the washer and dry them without tumbling. So amazing for delicate drying. This top washer, you can run at the same time. Wait, how do I get her open? Oh. You can run this at the same time as you're running the front loader, you guys. This is not sponsored. I am just like completely blown away by this machine. So multiple loads at once. You can run adult clothes in here, baby clothes in here. You could also run smaller loads, which is amazing. So if you only have a couple pieces, which we're all guilty of doing, you can do that on the top. It also has AI technology so that it learns your laundry habits. You can hook it up to your phone. 
Like, I mean, you saw it here first, people. Formal living rooms to most people are called formal living rooms. Here at the Lifestyle Co, they are called waiting for your Uber room. And that is what we did here from a design direction in this space. It's swanky, it's sophisticated. Like you should absolutely have a dirty martini, an espresso martini, a glass of red wine, maybe a Sauvignon Blanc in the summer. I don't know, something like that. But these clients were really particular about saying, you know what, give me something cool. I will be able to keep my kids off this furniture one way or another. And so that's, that's where we're at. So we ended up with these crescent shaped sofas that are facing each other, sectional, kind of a sectional, it's a three piece. So I'd say maybe a crescent shaped sectional. Um, that's a three piece, they're from Crate and Barrel. We, I'm really happy with the way they turned out. And then keeping no TV in here, right? So again, we're waiting for our Uber, we're having great conversation, maybe we're reading. We anchor this huge wall that is kind of off the entry of the home with two matching sideboard pieces, a beautiful art piece, picture lights above, little sculpture pedestal moment. All in all, it just, I mean, it truly just feels like we need to pour a cocktail. This is the first hat room I have ever been in. And it is such vibes. And like I said, you guys, Kelly owns the refined brim and she makes custom made hats. So look at this beauty. And I'm gonna show you inside some of this amazing storage that we've also got, but we started this room with um, a, a deep bricky red Roman clay, which is what you're seeing on all walls, including the ceiling. We popped it all off with this checker pattern of a, a, a taupey color, along with that creamy kind of white. We wanted it to feel timeless, but she was going for kind of a European vibe. I will tell you, I wanna say if I remember, if I remember correctly, we were not originally designing this room until she came back from her trip to Europe and she said, okay, I need, I need an office. I want it to feel like a craft room. I want it to represent my business, the refined brim. And I just came back from Europe. So make it feel vibey. And so that's where we're at. So we've got a table, of course, chairs for all of that, plenty of workspace. Look at this storage. Like, I mean, we are wall to wall, armoire style storage, tons of huge drawers and cabinets below for everything you could possibly need. And then be because I'm just so impressed with this woman, look at how gorgeous this is. So these are just a small example of all of the hats she can make you. She ships. I mean, it's just stunning. Like even these little deals. I'm like, this is so freaking aesthetic. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I'm going to need to get Kelly to make me a hat here soon. But um, like I said, we'll link everything in the refined brim. I'm obsessed with how this room turned out. I just think it's such a vibe. Just off the waiting for your Uber room is the study. And I am obsessed officially with how this corner interior barn door glass door situation turned out. It's just so chic and definitely an application that you don't see very often. So in this space, moody vibes, all the things. Um, Kyle, he wants to be able to come in here, open his laptop, do a little work. I'm sure he will sit on his brand new Ames chair that I am so happy for him that he has now. Um, couple extra chairs in case he's got a meeting or, or whoever wants to come sit with him. And then a big, beautiful wall of your books, right? Collectibles. I'm sure more travel will end up, you know, travel um, souvenirs will end up in here. All in all, it's an intimate room, but it feels really robust and it's got plenty of natural light. So even though we painted every square inch Benjamin Moore Black Beauty, it feels like it can take it and it even has some more to give. This primary suite is so freaking gorgeous. I just can't get over it. It's also humongous, which happens sometimes. Um, I think that it is so balanced and so spa-like and that's exactly what our clients were going for. So we have his and hers vanities. This is the hers side. And like, could you get used to this or what? Look at all of this storage. I mean, we have one, one, two, three towers full of, and like, look at just this. So intuitive, so livable, so much storage, drawers. I really love this hardware. I'll try to find a link for it and link it in the description for you guys. But vanity, custom mirrors. We're showing the same white veined quartz from Vidara. It's called White Aurora in this room as well. Um, 10 inch splash, beautiful custom mirrors, LED lighting. It's just so balanced. I have a hard time believing that this isn't gonna be super timeless. The flooring in here is a 24 by 48 porcelain tile, which again, straight laid, which is what we've done everywhere for the most part in the house. This concrete bathtub, like mm, we have used it several times. We have never had a client who wasn't so happy and satisfied with it. I think it looks stunning. Paired it with Brizo plumbing. And then let's go into this teeny tiny shower, shall we? 
I honestly think you're 15 feet away from me, <laughs> at least. The thing is huge. Um, wow. Rain heads, double rain heads. Again, his and hers sides. We have a matte uh, porcelain herringbone floor, which turned out amazing. Stunning linear drain. The plumbing in here is Brizo, and we also use that Nero Marquina porcelain on the walls and the benches in here. So this is such another amazing example of application that is just with porcelain. Out that little door, which is gonna look real muddy, but out this door is going to be an outdoor shower when this phase is complete. So you're gonna be able to shower in here, get all steamy, rain head the whole thing, and then walk outside, shower outside, cold plunge, the whole thing. From here, I need to show you the next best part of this room, which is the primary bedroom. This room is so vibey. I mean, we, we cannot ignore the elephant in the room, which is the stunning bed. That is from the Lifestyle Co. Before we get there though, oh, it's just got such a vibe, right? And it feels grown up, which I love. And the room is huge. So in huge spaces, sometimes it can be really challenging to make furniture fit appropriately. This space is packed with custom details. So this incredible chaise that we have was custom designed. And uh, this is the only one that will ever be, I think. And it was really important to our clients, like I said, that they had a couple pieces that just meant a lot to them that um, were just for them. So I'm obsessed with that. Love this little corner. The custom draperies are incredible. They are um, double paneled. So we've got sheer linen and then um, a blackout panel in front of it. Then coming into the main kind of area where of course you'll be, they'll be sleeping. Like I'm just obsessed with this bed. It's so funky and unique, but modern and, feels like a conversation piece. And I, I love that. The bedding is all from Parachute and Restoration Hardware. Um, these pillows are exclusively from us. This is an exclusive fabric that we mill, like I said, just for us. And the paneling in here is something that I was really impressed with. I'm surprised truly by how beautiful it turned out. So this is just acoustic paneling and it is cost effective, you guys. So if you're looking for paneling like this, it can go as high as eight feet without a seam. So the seam we actually tucked at the foot so you really don't see it, but we'll link it in the description for you. According to our handyman, it went on really easily, which is a very pleasant surprise. And it looks like an actual million bucks, which I love. So what did you guys think about the Refined Ranch? At least the first floor. It's incredible, isn't it? Thank you, Caraway, for supporting this channel. Make sure you check the description for the link. My code is Kristen10. It is valid on the entire site. We hope to see you guys in the comments. Thank you so much for walking another beautiful project of ours, and I will catch you on the next one.